how you doing? So yes, I went and bought the new foundation. This is my second time doing this video. The first time you couldn't hear my voice, but now I hope you can hear me. Let me know down below. <laughs> but yes, I went out and I purchased the new NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop Foundation. I was a little bit on the fence because I saw a couple of reviews and I hear that it's like super duper matte. And we all, who for us who like matte foundation, you know, we like a matte foundation. You know, we like for it to be nice, sucked in, you know, don't move, all that good stuff. However, this foundation is super, super matte. And when I mean, it's not that matte where, you know, your face is just, you know, matte, no shine, feels good. There's a super tightness to this foundation. Now, I did not get the corresponding primer, thank God, because this foundation alone is super duper tight. Now, I know, that I know it's a matte foundation, so I did not use a beauty sponge. I just used a regular brush. Let me see. I used the e.l.f. brush. So we're going to use it again so I can just show you how it applies on my skin and you can see how it looks. Now, I do have a dry patch <laughs> over my eye right here, <laughs> but it's okay. <laughs> um, the shade that I have is in Sienna. It says it's a 24-hour wear. I can definitely see it being nice and matte for a good, well, for me, usually within about, for a matte foundation, within like a two to three hours, you start seeing the foundation, like my natural oils peek through. I can see this taking about six because this is some stuff. This is some stuff, but let's get into it. I'm not going to prime my face. I did prime um, the previous video, but when I was wearing that foundation, I was like, Ugh! like, please breathe. Let's get into it. So, so the reason why I picked Sienna is because it had the most, to me, for the range that was like, you know, give or take two in the front, two in the back. This had the most golden yellow undertone. Now there was, there was more that had the same golden yellow undertone, but this one seemed more, as I would say, neutral. It wasn't too bright. It wasn't too dark. It just was just right for me, in my opinion, in my opinion. So I'm going to let you see how it looks. I should have put that on my face. It's a lot. Now, I'm in limbo about taking this foundation back. Now, if you can see, you really can't see it. It, it blends in very well. I'm going to go ahead and put it on my face so you can kind of see and get a better look. Now, I'm in limbo about taking this foundation back because it's just too matte and it and it gives me a gray a gray feel now it has a it definitely has a scent to me it smells like taking a, ba a barbie doll or a doll out of the box it smells like i guess it smells like plastic that's what it smells like to me i know we all have our different um so now you just you can kind of see i'm not you know doing anything neat or anything like anything like that but i want you to see just how it goes on it's a nice finish now I, i'm going to compare to see if i keep the foundation maybe i just can't wear a primer underneath because it's just it's just too much and my primers normally are um oil control so this would be a good eyeshadow primer for sure the way it was looking yesterday so you can see how everything is melting away. See the finish? It looks really nice. Now, I'm going to be honest with you. I don't feel that tightness that I felt yesterday. And that could be because I layered it with a oil control primer. But I still see that gray cast. Let me know if you see it as well, you know, because the camera, I'm looking at you find it, I'm looking in my mirror as I'm applying it. In person, it looks amazing. It looks good. This is that foundation. They say it compares to the Fenty Beauty. Um, I did purchase the Fenty Beauty. I took that back too. My thing is this, for me to keep the foundation, 
it has to outdo what I can buy at the drugstore. And I know you can, some drugstores you can't go to nowadays. But now you can. You can go to Ulta and have some testers. You can go to Target. Target has testers. Walmart, you got to make your own testers, but you shouldn't do that. <laughs> what do you guys think? I'm looking. It looks good. It does. I'm, I'm not going to lie. It looks good. In person, I look like... And I'm, I'm sure it's the lights that are giving it, like, you know, <laughs> that look. Let's see. What do you guys think? Let me know. Let me know. Do you have this foundation? If you do, what shades you have? And when you got it, did you keep it? You know, I'm not in the, the business for, you know, returning foundations. But when you're playing makeup a lot. I don't got time to be just keeping foundations just to have it sitting there. You don't do that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to let this sit. I'm going to put on the rest of my makeup. And then we're going to see how it looks after the fact. Okay? Okay, ladies. Here we have it. This is the final look. Now, I like it. I have on a matte lip. I feel like I'm just too matted out. Let's put some lip gloss on. I'm going to have all the products that I use. I'm going to have them linked down below. And, um... You can take a look at them. So what I'm putting on now is just some lip gloss. And this is the Ulta. Ulta Shiny Sheer Lip Gloss. I love it. This is in bare. Super simple. So here's the final look. Now, I will say it doesn't feel as tight as it did yesterday when I applied the primer underneath and i'll leave that link down below what primer i use it's a really good primer i like it it's really really affordable but um the foundation mm, in person i feel like i have like some type of gray cast going around my, my mouth now i know i'm a woman of color so we do have hair pigmentation we do have you know different things that goes on but i just feel like my face looks so different from my neck if you get what i'm saying you feel me? You see the difference? Now, when I wear my, I don't mean to compare, but when I wear my Maybelline, the um, Superstay, everything is just like all in one. I can't complain. I took my professional pictures, my blog pictures, and my um, profile picture I took with wearing, wearing that foundation, and I had no complaints. I mean, it was just like, it worked. It was good. <sighs> so beautiful. I love it. I'm going to get another bottle of that. So the jury is still out on this one. I don't know. Um, I'm looking in the viewfinder because it looks funny on camera. It looks funny. I don't know if I'm going to keep it, guys. I don't know. It feels better. I will definitely say it definitely feels better than it did yesterday with the primer. I just feel like I'm casket ready. I feel like I'm ready. I'm just too flawless. I feel like I'm already Photoshop. I can't Photoshop myself no more than what I did. So it's like I just feel too much. But anywho. Let me know your thoughts and your opinions. Let me know if you have this foundation. Let me know your thoughts, period. Again, the shit that I have is in Sienna. I'll leave it linked down below if you want to check it out. And just let me know. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoy. I want to say hey to all my new subscribers. Hey to all my loyals. Thanks for hanging out with me and I'll catch you in my next video. Bye. <laughs>